All right, what's up guys? I'm back, I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, all right, so we're gonna try to move along quick. All right, so the story is, I started learning how to weld, making some brackets for the rear diff. Here's the welder. All right, not super great at it. I'm getting better though. Um, I had to grind some of the welds off on the top to make it a little cleaner, because that's some of the mounting areas. All right, so, the rear bracket, I designed it so it's being welded onto the chassis. The top bracket will be bolted onto the rear diff. And I'm gonna probably use this reinforced area and a plate in the rear, and then it's gonna bolt probably there. So it'll be completely bolted from the top, be welded in the rear. So I'm gonna set up the rear diff. I already have all, all of it marked where it's gonna sit. And then I'm gonna tack Start tacking it into place, get the axles in, make sure it looks even like looks right. I mean, it's all measured, so it should all be good, but I'm gonna make sure everything's good. And then, if it looks everything was good, I'm gonna weld that fully in and then start working on making the top bracket. All right, guys, so I'll be right back and show you how guys how it looks. All right, guys, so rear diff is the bracket is partly welded on, as you can see, the rear diff is just hanging there. Hold up, one second. So, that's just the first part of that mount. Right now it has flex to it, obviously, because it's only welded at one point. But it is up there, hanging in there. So that part that's welded to has a lot of flex. It's not really designed to hold the rear diff. But um, <clears throat> if you get enough points, it'll be solid enough. I only have one point. Uh, I'm running out of uh, wire, so better hold to the store and get some more water to continue um <clears throat> actually let me turn this off all right so the next step is taking out the rear diff and once i take out the rear diff i'll finish welding up that rear bracket but as you can see everything is looking pretty good lined up nicely let me see if i can see if i can get a better angle for you guys i'm not sure it's nice and tucked up there, the dry shaft. Rear diff is sitting pretty high. You know, I read everywhere they said put it as high as you can. So, starting to look nice. Uh, I haven't welded in like a week since I went on a small vacation, but uh, you know, I have to probably have to clean up these welds. I started grinding them down a little bit. Um, I ended up burning a small hole. I think I was welding a little too hot. Um, but, uh, other than that, it's pretty good. I had to cover up the hole, so I grinded that part down. And rear diff is starting to go up. Like I said, <clears throat> I'm gonna drill two holes here. Well, I'm gonna put a plate in the back end actually first, because all this metal is too soft. You can't, I mean, you can, but you're gonna have too much flex. Like all this type of metal flexes, it's not meant to be structural. So I have to weld plates in and, you know, make sure everything is nice and solid. But uh, other than that, it's looking pretty good, guys. So I'll update you guys in the next clip. Um, just going to take the rear diff off real quick so I can hopefully have enough that I can just weld the, the little piece of bracket, the rest of the bracket on the top end. But if not, I'll just go pick up more wire. I'm pretty excited. It's in there nicely. All right, guys. Well, the bracket is almost done being welded in. I ran out of a uh, wire, so got this plate welded to the top. Got to do the same thing on that side. The whole bottom is all welded in. I welded this seam. Um, not beautiful welds. Not a professional, but I mean, some of them came out okay. But it's up in there. It's welded in. The top. Gotta finish those welds up. Gotta do the other side. And then the rear bracket is done. And I might add a bar in the bottom of this to and get longer bolts here. And then like a, a long bolt that goes through a, a tube, square tubing to back here, connecting here and to the other side to eliminate some of that side motion maybe. And obviously the top, the top mount will be done. So that's basically it. I gotta get a plate for that. 
for the top, the plate for the top over here. And um, and that's it. So that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to run to the store anyways and get more, you know, welding wire and more metal, uh, metal stock, so I can fabricate the top bracket. Which I haven't decided how I'm gonna do it yet, but everything is looking nice. Everything's looking nice. And uh, where is it? I originally made this for the tunnel to hold the uh, the dry shaft up, but it, I made it too uh, too too wide. It's it's the dry shaft will sit too low with that. So I gotta make another one, but maybe half the size to get that rear diff. Uh, I'm not the rear diff. The dry shaft up. I might actually even go for a slightly different design because this is, I think, this might be a little overkill for the, the carrier support bearing. It was, I don't know. I mean, it's fucking heavy. But uh, we'll see what I do. I'm either going to remake this, but not as tall, so it'll be much smaller, which I can probably just cut this, bring it down, re-weld it, but I don't know if I want to do all that. Uh, I might just remake it. I have more stock right here. This is slightly thinner than what I originally used, but I think this will be enough. I think this is thick enough. Like it has flex to it, obviously, but in us, you know, in smaller pieces with the triangle design, I don't think it'll be an issue. So I might use this stock right here to remake this one, but not as tall, about half the size. And then I have to buy a new, more like square tubing and some. Some more metal stock for the rear diff to get that stuff done. All right, guys, and then also, yep, I gotta remount the fuel fuel cell. Um, this was a temporary solution to find where I wanted it. Now I I know where I want it now, so I'm gonna make the final mount for that. So once I make the final mount, once I measure it all out, I can uh I'll cut the hole slightly bigger. In the inside so the tank can actually come out from the top and we'll probably make a, a strap one like two straps that goes across the top to hold it in place and that's about it but uh all right guys so i'll see you next time peace